Okay, unbox video time. So this is a package I received from Aquarium Co-op. Um, and basically there's uh, there's no kind of soft goods in here. There's no um, uh, no plants or fish or anything like that. So this is all hard goods. And this will give you kind of an idea of some of what's in there. But anyways, let's just go ahead and get this started right now. So this thing, the box feels like it's packed really tight. I guess I'll shake it for you guys. Packed really tight. Okay, so first things first, I got a clown killifish. Cool. All right, put that over here. And first things first, I got a pump, or I mean a uh, air pump with a uh, backup battery on it. So a couple weeks ago, we had a pretty bad blackout here in Sacramento area. And um, I didn't have any way of delivering air to any of my tanks. And so I basically it dawned on me that I'm going to have to have something like this on hand just to um, be prepared if the power ever goes out again, which it probably won't. But you never know. So, okay, and there's that one. That is a, uh, this is the single... Oh, and it's got like a little clip right here so you can clip it to your shirt and hang out at the mall with it on. Cool. But it's just a single airline. Put that back over here. And then I got another one. So this is the dual outlet. Uh, so two airlines. And it's pretty much the same thing here. Set it off over here. And again, if, if you want to be at the mall and be fashionable, you can clip this to your shirt and you're going to one up the guy who has the single airline tube. So there you go. Okay. And then I got just a whole lot of stuff because I'm going to be doing some projects around uh, the house with my tanks. So I'm going to be setting up another tank and I might be setting up another uh, uh, shrimp tank, but we don't, we'll see. So a couple of these guys, a couple of air stones. Okay. And then I got, I really like these valves. These are my favorite valves right here, along with these air stones. These air stones and these valves are my favorite. Out of all the stuff that I bought off of Amazon and all the local fish stores, all the junk that I've tried, these have, these are the best. Um, check valves. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I have one of these on my 20 gallon and it doesn't check anything. The water is just flowing right through it. I could be wrong, um, but... I'm pretty sure, yeah, actually, no, I do. Now that I remember, because everything on my 20 gallon is from Aquarium Co-op. So the check valve that I bought is a $3 check valve. It it doesn't check anything, but whatever. So I'll give, you know, I bought a couple more and give them a shot. You know, see if I, maybe I just got a bad one. It's probably more than likely what it is. Put that over there. And then I got some airline holders. Can never have enough of these, especially since this, the plastic here tends to go bad, rubber, whatever you want to call it, tends to go bad. Um, We've got really, really soft mountain, Sierra mountain water here. And so I wanted to give this a shot in a couple of my tanks to see if I can raise the pH up and, and uh, you know, not have, you know, insane pH fluctuations whenever I'm running CO2 throughout the day. So give this a shot. And then I have one of these also on my 20 gallon and I like it a lot. So this is a diffuser. Okay, and it works really, really good. I think these things are really, I don't know, I love them. I like them better than glass ones. I can't tell you how many glass diffusers I've broken, and I've just kind of given up on them at this point. Um, so, anyways, that goes there, and then I've got a couple things here, and I don't know what's going on at Aquarium Co-op if they're discontinuing their CO2 um, setups, but the only thing I could find on their website when I ordered were these uh, regular manif regulator manifolds. And so I already have a CO2 regulator and I'm going to be expanding it by at least one. So I'm going to have the, I have the 20 gallon on top and then I'm going to have a 10 gallon on the bottom. And so that's what I need one of these for. Um, and then, so these are pretty good quality, actually. I really like their CO2 stuff. So pretty good quality. Um, and these things right here, these are handy if you ever want to bag up any of your shrimp and take them to a buddy's house or whatever, or take them to the parties. You know, you've got this where the shrimp can kind of hang on and go party with you. Um, so, yeah, so that's, you know, kind of like a little bonus there. And it looks like a few tools and stuff that are down in there. 
So yeah, it's just an Allen wrench and a couple tools to cook them together there, as you can see. Okay, so there's this guy. Then we've got one more left here, which is the exact same thing. Okay, instructions, add-on instructions, and it's the same thing. So, and again, it comes with like a little net so you can take your shrimp out with you and go socialize and things like that. Um, so, yeah. Um, so I bought two because I didn't know if uh, Aquarium Co-op is discontinuing their CO2 line. And so I was like, well, I'm going to order two just in case, you know, so that way the one manifold that I, or the one um, uh, CO2 system that I have is... Um, is going to, you know, have some longevity to it. And I'll have, be able to run three tanks off of it at this point in time. So anyways, yeah, there we are. Getting back over here. And there's a ruler. So that's pretty much it. That's a lot of stuff in one little box. And I can't remember what the total was. It doesn't say in the packing slip. So... Yeah, I think it was about 180 something like that. About $180. So anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, let me know what you think.